Many of us have heard horror stories when it comes to estate planning, and many of us have dealt with the actual stress when it comes to what they are going to do with their assets, as well as what their family situation is going to be. Now, while estate planning is different for every family, it's one that doesn't just happen overnight. Had, Attorney had Keith Tokert says based on his experience when dealing with estate Seattle, planning, there's one thing that clients tend to oversee, really and that is family disputes. Raise this ugly head in just the families that you least expect it to. So I think it really needs to be something that we look at to make sure we're going to minimize the chance of problems. Particularly in farm and ranch, we have one farm and ranch in the family, and we have four or five different kids, and all of them have an emotional attachment to it. It's just a, it just could be a source of a lot of issues if we don't really work around that. Over the course of time, the process of estate planning has changed. This is something that Tokert says he's realized when dealing with clients. So now, at least in our office, we take the time to really get to know the family, find out the issues, understand what's going on economically with the farm. For instance, is this really a viable operation? We've got two boys on the farm. Is it going to really work out for them and their families both to stay on the farm? So we're going to get way more into the details of the situation so that we, again, minimize the chance of disputes but maximize the chance the farm will stay in the family. Another concern is the generational aspect. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, 96% of U.S. farms are family farms. The average age of farm producers grew from 56.3 to 57 and a half years from 2012 to 2017. That's a, that's a big thing. You have two or three kids, and especially in the farm and ranch area, we look at how to plan accordingly, how to, how to have the conversation and show the right intention and make the right decisions moving forward. Uh, for the future of the operation. Over the last several years, Jared and Keith have traveled to various parts of the Treasure State to speak with farmers and ranchers of diverse backgrounds. One that they say has become a topic of conversation as the years progress. How things are going to work out in the interim when mom and dad are still here, of course they still need to be taken care of, and then how are we going to transition it to the next generation. Now there will be two sessions hosted that will teach you how to better prepare for the future of your farm and ranch as well as to ensure that smooth transition for the future of your kids. We will have the link to those sessions posted on our website. In Great Falls, Cade Mentor, MTN News.